what's up? Bob here. Welcome back. It's uh, derby time here in the city and it is uh, madness out there and I'm doing my best to avoid that situation. <laughs> uh, that said, just going to talk about a few things today and uh, not waste too much of your time. Get on with it, if you will. First thing I'd like to address is store credit still stands strong. I've bought nothing and um, I have a few things that I'm thinking about. Maybe I'll uh, throw them out there and see what you guys think. Um, or not, maybe I'll keep it a secret and surprise you guys with whatever I get. In other news, uh, if you haven't noticed, I've been uh, on a big time tube screamer um, thing lately. I've been using the TS Mini and I am considering getting an original 808 again. Uh, right now they're going for about, I don't know, between six and a thousand. And uh, I'd probably rather get a kind of beat up one than uh, something pristine just to save some money. I mean, it does the same thing. That said, I'm also uh, considering the Burkos Third Stone and the Deep Trip BOG Fuzz. Uh, I still have it bad for a Janray for some reason. Sorry, Paul. Um, and for some reason this morning I woke up thinking about the T-Rex replica delay pedal, which brings me to my next subject. I'm gonna try to get through this quickly. Um, see, back in the day, uh, there wasn't a lot of delay pedals to choose from. Uh, for the longest time, I was just using a Tube Screamer, Wawa, and a few other things. And I had a uh, Memory Man and a Dan Echo, the big Dan Echo, the metal one. And I wanted a new delay pedal, and I bought the Line 6 DL4, the big green one, and it was great. I mean, but it, except for that volume drop when you turned it on, so you really need to sit, needed to send it off and have it get the true bypass mod, I guess, from Analog Man or whatever. Well, I started researching, and I ended up landing on this pedal called the T-Rex Replica. And I wanted to buy it, but I was going to read some online stuff about it before I did. And when I went to the gear page, which I hadn't really been on very much, I discovered that there was a new pedal that was coming out that people were saying was better than the T-Rex replica, which I thought the replica sounded amazing. I had gone to the store and played it, and... I was ready to spend the 400 on it, but I quickly discovered that this new pedal was only going to be 299. Enter the first time I bought the Strymon El Capistan. This pedal here, it's actually been out for several years now, can you believe that? And I, the I bought it and it was pretty good. It was it, uh, I loved it actually. The very first uh, version one of this pedal was is, was amazing. Uh, a lot of people kind of complain about it a little bit because it has these secondary functions where you push these two in and then these knobs all do different things. But that never bothered me. Um, I'll, I'll quickly touch on some of the things that the LCAP does. <laughs> Um, sorry, it's it's dusty. There is a um, spring reverb hidden in this control here. If you push both buttons in, and this becomes a spring reverb that you can kind of adjust. I will demonstrate that very shortly. Um, I'm just going to touch on the things that I like. <laughs> if you hold this in, it uh, it goes into self oscillation, which is another function that I use a lot. This is the re one of the and, and not to mention this thing just does general awesome tape delay sounds, which I'm sure everybody watching this probably knows this already. I've bought this pedal three uh, uh, a total of three times, and 
I hope that this is the last one. I'm not going to get rid of this one because I'm just tired of rebuying it. But it does a little bit of sound on sound looping. It's got, uh, you know, different delays. And, you know, as far as like the way that these uh, tape heads are, it gives you different lengths of time and stuff. Um, but, you know, you can adjust the tape age, uh, the wow and flutter. The mix, obviously, this is also like a bass contour. There's a, there's some other things going on with this under the surface. We're not really going to get into that. All I'm going to say about the El Capistan is it is a great tape delay. Probably, in my uh, in my opinion, the it is the new industry standard for for that type of delay. And I uh, just thought I would do just a little, shoot a little demo of this sucker. Uh, a little Derby Day El Capistan demo. And um, let you hear it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it through a deluxe reverb. Probably with that 1958 Stratocaster right there. Then I'm going to do, we're going to do rehearsal. And who knows what else. Stay tuned. Here we go.
Connor has dropped back. Irish War Cry now moves up on the outside and is taken second. Battle of Midway is midway between those two runners. And then it's a three-length gap back to Gormley. But Kraken has been unleashed on the far outside. And Classic Empire is beginning his charge. And he's coming wide as they turn for home. And it is always dreaming in front. Always dreaming with Battle of Midway a length and a half behind. As they come into the final furlong. Looking at Lee is making a bid now through on the inside.